They're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. Here's Murray. And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. The numbers for DeMarco Murray a week ago. 11 carries, 74 yards. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. That was a good, strong run there. And while it won't pick up a first down, it was definitely something needed by that offense. A positive run. They got a good push by their guys up front. Maybe something they can build on as this game continues. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. And his throw here is incomplete. Coverage was very good that time. A nice job to smother him as the ball arrived. And that ensured an incomplete pass. And it keeps six points off the board. Second down here after the incomplete pass. To throw again. Wade. Walker with a grab. Left side. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. Well, he did everything but get him in the end zone there, but now they're set up. Golden opportunity, strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it, now look where they are on the field, all right? This is naturally set up for a running play, isn't it? But with his ability to throw the football, his accuracy on this drive, you might want to think about a pass play in this situation. Hmm, interesting. Time to find out. And here comes play number six on this drive. Again, he'll drop the throw. Buying time to his left. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. It's their quarterback taking it in from two yards out. And the Titans take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. With these Thursday night games, sometimes you get those quick turnarounds. You wonder how a team is going to start. They started really well. Everyone's always wondering, going into a Thursday night game, who has their legs, who has a, you know the overall health of a team. But mentally, if you get that early edge, the other team might think to itself, ah, oh, it's been a short week. We're not really ready to go. You might run them into the ground that way. That's why getting that early score means... Here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Set, to throw on second down. Wade out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before Lost Yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for Lost Yardage. On third down, Wade. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down.
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. It's really simple to say that they know their identity, that they are a passing team. But one of the reasons that they're so successful, they know how to mix in the run and make sure that they keep the defense off balance and not able to just simply say, let's go get the quarterback and disrupt things. Looking to throw on second down. Wade and Davis has it over the middle. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off of the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their stuff. You go to them early and often. Back to throw. Wade and unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. He was looking for Matthews that time, and that'll bring up second down. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Off the play fake, Wade. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Looking to throw. Wade. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> you put it through the post, that's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> <Toe bash. laughs> I don't know about that. Toe <laughs> <laughs> so a big pickup that time, and Charles, defending AFC Player of the Week, maybe bucking towards another award this week. Yeah, and they say they don't really care about the individual awards. You and I both know they do. it means a lot to them. It means respect around the league. And if he's able to show those kind of hands all game long, he can win a second one. It's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Throw's going to be incomplete. Matthews, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. 
Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. His throw incomplete. Eric Decker was the intended receiver. Third down here. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. To throw on third down. Wade. Left side caught by Matthews. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen. But everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they showed to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. To throw on second down. Wade. Right side, there's Decker. And he is knocked down and then landed on pretty awkwardly. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. time to the tailback and down to the 36 yard line here a nice run there nine yards and it'll be second down two minutes remain here in the first half back to Heinz Field after this Reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. I'm going to be right there with you, partner. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Looking to throw on second down. Wade. He gets it to Matthews. Complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Off 
Play action. Wade. Looking to hit Matthews, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. The results for them so far, not that great. Some space here. Avoids him at the 40. And he goes out of bounds across the 40 yard line. That would good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Well, how many times do we say in this game is speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice gain. A really nice gain of 25 yards. it out to Murray. And the second wave of tacklers is going And he'll give it here to his running back. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, defensively rallying to the ball after the nice move. Call it a gain of five that time. They'll be left with a third down and about nine to get down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. left in this first half, a timeout call. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Fight forward to about the 27 yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So, how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. 
to throw on second down. Wade. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Back to throw. Wade being chased. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Ryan Shazier able to drop him for a loss of a couple. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Looking to throw. Wayne. And this is caught. It's Decker. Look at the spin. Balance. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. They'll run it now out of the gun. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them, or do you decide to throw the ball here? Looking to throw on second down. Wade. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Ross Cockrell. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really competent throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Titans offense now. They get ready to do battle again here. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So this brings up a second and two. Wade in the gun. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Decker. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and 10. Back to throw. Wade. Throw left side complete. It's Walker. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. 
So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get? All right, 300. That means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. Off the play fake, Wayne. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. On any first and... stayed to work with for the offense is really cut down and the defense knows it so they often bring heat and pressure which they did on this play got him down for a loss not a big one but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense second down now after the sack <laughs> operating from the gun Wade and he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. Their mobile, agile quarterback, his second touchdown of the night. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. From the gun, Wade. Oh, no, he lost the football. But it looked like the Titans were able to recover, and indeed, they will keep possession of the ball. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but if the other team doesn't get it, that's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. The Titans on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 14. clock at five we're going to get a timeout it's just their first they'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter so we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout the titans on third down they've hit two for four thus far this is third and 14 Operating from the gun, Wade. And able to find Decker. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. And now a first down following that long game. From the gun, Wade. Eluding the pressure right. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. 
Let's see if they do it anyway. Set three, 19. To throw on second down. Wayne steps away to his... And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. It's their quarterback. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Titans capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Looking to throw. Wayne. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Now, these guys hardly got a chance to catch their breath after the quick turnover, but I doubt they're complaining much. Especially with the field position they get to start with. I wouldn't be complaining either. I want to get right back out there and get after them because now you have an opportunity to make a big play. I'd say let's be aggressive and go after him. First down, Titans gain of 12. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. On first and ten, Wade. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Well, from where we sit, Brandon, it certainly appears that that touchdown should just about do it. Probably, but I'll play the analyst here. You know we've seen some crazier endings. That we have, and maybe we should sit back and make sure we can stay around for the ride because it could be a wild finish. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They come into enemy territory, and I don't care what the matchup is in the National Football League. You're up like this late in the game on the road. This feels pretty good. Oh, it feels fantastic. Anytime you get a road victory in the NFL, that's a big-time accomplishment. And to do it this convincingly, that just tears up the script that every home team has, which is nobody comes into our house and pushes us around. They took care of business today. Yeah, they pushed around, and now the final stages of this one. They go back to Murray on first down. Showed that brute strength, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game, the effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage. I really liked what he did there. Second down following the run. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. And we're hitting the end of this one, and it looks to probably be the final play. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for the Titans, the great run they've been on continues as they move to 9-1 and one now. And now they'll have a few extra days here before they face Indianapolis next week. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh, it was a game they really needed as they dropped back to 4-6. and six. And they'll have a tough one at home next week against the Green Bay Packers.
So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Pittsburgh.